Hey everyone, congrats on making it to your last video of our first lesson of algebra. So we got another, I don't know, I just feel like these are a little bit trickier with so much of the vocab and um, looking at these operations that involve fractions, but that's why we're talking through it. So we'll be good. So this one, we're talking about operations with rational and irrational numbers. Our last video dealt with just rational numbers. Well, what if you throw an irrational number in the mix? What kind of result do you get? So part A, is the sum of a rational number and an irrational number rational or irrational? So question, what we're kind of saying is the sum of a rational number. So if you take a fraction and you add an irrational number to it, do you get a fraction or an irrational number back? Well, I don't know. Let's take a look. Let's come up with a fraction. So one fraction is, let's say, three-fifths. Sum means adding. What if we add an irrational number? Well, we know an irrational number, pi, 3.1415, and it, can continue, <laughs> it continues on forever. Would the sum of these be rational or irrational? So if we added those together, would we have a fraction answer or a non-fraction answer? Because the irrational number cannot be written as a fraction, we can't add it to a fraction. A fraction can add with a fraction and that's it. So our answer would be irrational because you would have to have two rational numbers, two fractions to add together and get a rational answer. All right, part B is the product. So remember product is multiplying of a rational number so if you take a fraction and you multiply it with an irrational number that is not a fraction, what do you get back? So if we kind of look at our example up here, three-fifths times our pi, 3.1415, blah, 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 what are we going to get back? A rational number that can be written as a fraction or an irrational number. And it follows the same logic as above, you know, because this is irrational and cannot be, be expressed as a fraction, the product of these two will not be a fraction. So if you multiply a rational number, fraction, with an irrational number, you will get an irrational answer. And we're done. Congratulations.